everyone. It's Chelsea from Paper Rock Tia Studio, and today I'm sharing with you my day four of the hashtag event that's brought to you by Art Joy of Sharing Art Community on Facebook. It is called Hashtag AJ Snark Attack 2020. The AJ stands for Art Journaling, so it's Art Journaling Snark Attack 2020. So for today, I decided to use some photographs. I have a little collection that I've created over on unsplash.com, which is a site where you can download photos without any worries about royalties or um, copyrights. These photos are there for your use. And I will put a link to my, my collection of ones that I picked for Snark Attack. Um, it's not a very big collection, but you can use it if you want. I picked goofy faces of people and animals. Um, I think animals make the funniest faces. So, so, so far, most of my pages have been, well, two out of three of my pages have been animals, and this one will be too. I just started, I decided to make kind of this tie-dye background using a, a baby wipe that has some sort of color all over it. I don't know if it's paint or watercolor or what it is acrylic ink I'm not sure but anyway it was pretty and I thought that I would use that for my background of my page so I'm sticking that down with fluid matte medium and making sure that the baby wipe fibers are all completely soaked uh, soaked with the matte medium to make sure that everything sticks down and then once I get it good and dry I'm trimming off all the edges and that just gives me a different interesting texture on this page because that's a woven paper. Um, we, at the end, when you look at the close-ups, you'll be able to see the texture of the paper. So then you saw at the very beginning of the video that I had two printouts of photographs from Unsplash, <clears throat> and I sealed those with fluid matte medium using a brayer over the top. And then I picked this one of this funny pug dog. <laughs> They've got the funniest faces with their little squished noses. I just think they're so cute. And I decided to use that one. You will notice that I cut with scissors around, but then at the bottom I tore because I'm going to end up, um, the pug picture wasn't long enough, so I'm going to end up painting at the bottom, painting the rest of its, its body because these are long, narrow pages. This is a Dilusions Dialogue Insert Journal. Um, it's a system that they have from Ranger. And you can buy different ones. It's our, the, dec the cover's already decorated. And then you have different types of pages inside. So I am going to do acrylic painting over the top of this photo. This is something you can do if you're not sure if you know how to draw. If you want something on your page, you don't want it to really look like you cut out a photo and smacked it on there with some glue. You want it to look like it's integrated on the page, but you're just, you're not comfortable with, with uh, drawing and painting. You can take a photograph, and this was just printed using an inkjet printer. That's the reason that I set the ink using the matte medium, because the, matte, the ink will smear. I don't have a laser printer. If you have a laser printer, that's much better for this, but I don't have one, so I'm going to use this. Um, I just went ahead with my uh, black pencil. This is a Stabilo All Pencil. And I drew in the rest of the dog down at the bottom where his little arms are. And then his little tail coming up over his back. Um, and then I drew on some horns because the snarky quote that I'm going to use today from AJ Snark Attack 2020 is, it's not a tiara. I simply bedazzled my horns. And if any of you have this type of dog, um, or any type of dog, like my little dog Mika. She's not this type of dog, she's a palm cheat, but um, they can be a little bit naughty sometimes, you know? <laughs> they can be a little devils every once in a while. They're still cute as heck and you, you don't wanna punish them, but you know, they might they might get out the toilet paper roll and take, take all the toilet paper off it and chew it up and just uh, distribute it all over the bedroom. Or they might, uh, you know, accidentally pee in your shoes. I mean, these things happen. They can be a little bit naughty. So this little funny pug has horns. <laughs> Usually the horns are invisible. 
but not on this page. So I've got black acrylic paint, white acrylic paint, and some medium gray acrylic paint. And then I also had picked a little bit of uh, a blue gray and uh, pink, but I didn't really end up using them except for a little bit of pink around the, the mouth area and the eyes. But I'm just, I'm painting over the top of the photograph and wherever there are shadows on the photograph, I make shadows on my painting and wherever there are highlights and wherever there are medium tones. I just am painting right over the top. I'm also painting the area down below and also the horns where, um, you know, the rest of the body of the dog is because I, I wanted it to be higher up on the page. These tall, skinny journals are a little bit tricky that way. You've got your composition, your idea of composition and the way you're used to doing it with a more rectangular or square page or other substrate gets a little bit out of whack when it's a tall skinny one like this but they're fun to do and I'm having fun with it so <laughs> I don't mind so I'm being extra careful with the features of the dog because I don't want to change the funny look on its face it's kind of giving you the side eye like uh-huh yeah <laughs> funny just funny <laughs> I think the animals are hilarious and I'm certainly getting in my uh, an quota of animal portraits this month since I've made a mystical unicorn, I've made a very colorful giraffe, and I've now made a naturally colored little pug dog of some sort. I don't know what breed this dog is exactly. You know, I couldn't tell you. It appears to be all black, and it's got, and just, I liked it because it's got the smushy face. So it's a little bit more t tricky to paint down at the bottom, but remember I tore the edge. I didn't cut the bottom edge, I tore it so that I could blend in the paint into the paper and you really, you really wouldn't notice it as much. I mean, if you really, if you know that line is there, you can see it. But otherwise, I don't think you'd notice that the rest of the photograph wasn't there. So, I really just used the three colors of acrylic paint here. I didn't um, branch out from that. If you wanted to, you could make fun colors. You Instead of making it, it realistic colors, you could do the shadows in blue and the medium tone in purple and the highlights in pink. I mean, you could do something really fun like that if you wanted to. And I might do that with some other photo. So I'm just finishing up the look of the horns. Um, they're kind of like twisty horns, like a goat maybe would have. I don't know. I made it up, okay? I'm making it up as I go. <laughs> so I'm using the black and the white to shadow and highlight those as well. And yeah, this is just, you know, acrylic painting. And painting over the, the um, collaged on paper is kind of like painting a canvas because it's got it's got a texture woven uh, texture to it. Here's where I'm adding a little bit of that pink to the nose, to the corners of the eyes, to the little bit to the mouth, because I think that the dog would have that more and more uh, skin tone around those areas. And it just makes it a little bit more fun. So once that's all dry, I've got a Posca pen. This is an acrylic paint pen with a fine tip that I can just... Um, clean up and emphasize some things. Obviously the dog is black, but this black pin is maybe even a little bit blacker. It's a very opaque dark pin and I can get the edges cleaned up a little bit and um, some details with that. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Can, can make more fine details with a pin than you can with a brush. Well, I mean, you can with a brush, but it's easier with a pen. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't think I ever got out my white Posca pen and did anything with it on this page. Shocking. I almost always use my white pen, <laughs> but I didn't on this one. Just the black this time. So then for the horns, I want to make them super glittery and sparkly and crazy. 
because of the quote, it's not a tiara, I simply bedazzled my horns. So I used a little bit of um, Stickles glitter glue to put a layer of glitter on the horns and a little bit in the eyes. Then I decided I wanted to make a little bit more texture on the background. So I'm using this stencil from Stencil Girl. I think this one is from Stencil Club, but I don't know which month. So I'll have to look it up for you and put it a link down below. Um, I wanted to use this kind of drapey patterned curtain area at the bottom of the stencil. And I'm using a toothbrush style makeup brush so that I can be not getting the white onto the dog. So I can see through the stencil and not get the white stenciling on the dog. It would have been probably smarter to maybe do the stenciling before I put the dog on, but I didn't. So it's all good. Then I just got out a little bit of watercolor and added a little bit brighter colors right around the edges of the dog as if I was giving it some shadow. Um, instead of using a dark color and shadowing, shadowing around it, I just used the same colors as the background, but I wanted to get that definite area um, defined. You wouldn't have to do this. It's just a, a little fussy detail that I like to do. Um, I have a lot of those little fussy things that I like to do. Now it's time to add the quote. So I'm trimming it out. Uh, I printed this on my printer in like, I think it's 16 or 18 point font. I typed out a few of the quotes from the quote sheet so that I could just use them cut out and glued on. I wouldn't have to, to uh, type them on my, type them on anything or uh, I mean my, you know, my P-Touch. I wouldn't have to do that or anything. I'd just get cut them out glue them on. I think it's a good idea to do that. And then a little bit of shading around that. I hope you guys are enjoying this video and this uh, month of snarky quote art journal pages. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. We're only on day four and I'm already, I think I just think it's fun. <laughs> and I tell you what, 2020 needs some fun, people. We need some fun. So if you do like it, remember to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment or question below. And subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your notification bells if you haven't already. All these things help my channel grow by letting YouTube know that I'm making valuable content. And then maybe my videos get recommended uh, to people who are looking for content like mine. So I really appreciate when you do all those things for me. That's pretty awesome. So now I'm doing the bedazzling. I have a a Ziploc bag full of all different types of sequins that someone sent me in Happy Mail and they're just they're just all different types so I'm just digging through and picking out some that match my background and um, I found this one that looks like a gem it is actually a sequin it's not a gem and I thought that was funny right in the middle of the dog's head as if you had a jewel hanging down from a crown you know um, or a tiara or something. I also use them to make a little necklace collar for the dog to match so that I'm bringing that to be dazzling down to the dog as well. And I'm attaching all these using the glitter glue because I figure it's glue and then you'll get a little bit more sparkle too. So I could have used a different type of glue, but this is this worked really well. And then um, I made sure they st were stuck down by adding a little bit in the center of each one. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so that's it for me for day four. Bye-bye.